Hello everyone, this is Jan from WPMayor.com. In this video, we'll be taking a look at content delivery networks, or CDNs as they are more commonly known, specifically Max CDN, which is my favorite CDN service. So we'll be looking at how to set up a CDN and what kind of improvements you'll be likely to see. The website I'll be using for this test is alionatravels.com. This is quite a media heavy website, which features a number of images on its homepage. So it's an ideal candidate to test as a DN, since as a DN works by serving media files, mostly apart from CSS and JavaScript files from the closest location to the pe person accessing the website. So if we access our website from say Amsterdam, there will be some server, CDN server in Europe, which will serve the files. While if we access the, the website from the US, say from Dallas, there will be a SDN server close by which will be serving those uh, images, the JavaScript files and CSS files. So it works on the principle of serving the fastest uh, media files by proximity. So this is the website we'll be using. It currently had no CDN service and not even any caching plugin. So I'll be implementing both caching and also a CDN. After signing up with Max CDN and of course obtaining your username and password, you can go ahead and log in to their control panel. And from there, we want to create what it's called as a pull zone. And let's take a look at the pull zones tab right up here. Let me take you to how to create a pull zone. So first of all, click on zones. And then you'll see that there's a number of zones you can use. Now, for example, pull zones are used for everyday support, support files. And push zones are used for larger files. While in the first case, we were talking about image files, CSS files, and JavaScript files, a push zone would be used for things like ebooks, PDFs, and installers which would rarely be changing. A VOD zone is used for video and audio, while the live zone is built specifically for live video or audio. The one we're interested in today is the pull zone. So to create a pull zone, just click the create pull zone button. So the pull zone name is, for example, the name of your website could be, or just something random. It has to be at least three characters in length. So the server URL is your URL, the URL of your website. And the label is just something that describes this zone. It's purely for your own personal use. So I'm going to say CDN for Aliona Travels. And we had the create button. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using Apple Zone, which I had created already. And zone name is, as you can see here, Aliona Travels. We have set up a CDN URL of cd1.alionatravels.com. You can set up custom domain names here. And that's it, basically. So what I've got to do now is go to Aliona Travels and set up the CDN through the W3 Total Cache plugin. Right, so I've taken the liberty to install W3 Total Cache on this website. And you can see the performance tab right here. And we've got to go to general settings. So right here, this gives you a snapshot of all the caching systems uh, available in W3 Total Cache. And we're going to choose just a few of these. Please make sure you set up the plugin in the same way to make sure everything works as uh, desired. So the first thing is to enable page cache. You can leave minimi, Minify disabled for now. You can enable database cache. If you are on a shared server, please don't enable object cache because it will cause problems. And you can also enable the browser cache. Now, the important thing here is to enable the CDN. Enable the CDN, and then you can also use the CDN type max CDN. There are a number of CDNs which are already set up here. These are the popular CDNs. Max CDN is one of them. So just hit that button and you're ready to go. Then we need to save all the settings. And we also have to clear the page cache. 
I just go to performance and empty all caches just to make sure. Now, if you've set up the custom CDN names, you have to go to CDN right here and you can set up the CDN names right here. So just enter the four CDN names that you have, would have set up. And there is a tutorial for this, which I will link in below this video. And just basically enter them here and again, save all settings. You can also use the test max CDN button. And this is also the place where you select your pull zone. So you select your pull zone, enter the authorization key, which you get from max CDN, enter the site's host names, and basically that's it. Just text, test max CDN. And if it's working, that's all you need to do within WordPress. And basically that's the whole setup for installing max CDN on your WordPress website. So now the next thing is to show you some test results from my, from all this setup. For testing purposes, I've used the pingdom.com website, which I highly recommend. Basically you can choose three locations, New York, Dallas, and Amsterdam as your servers for testing. And the first one I've tried is New York. So this is before the screenshot you're seeing right now is before I installed the CDN. So the load time was 2.15 seconds. Now with the CDN installed, it came down to 1.58. Not a huge difference there, but always an improvement. You can also notice that the performance grade improved a bit right there. So let's go to Dallas, which loaded at 1.98 before the CDN was installed, now loads at two seconds. So basically that's almost identical. Now the big change came in Amsterdam, which is the location farthest away from our website server. Before the CDN was installed, we've got a load time of 4.7 seconds. After the CDN was installed, we lowered that to 2.24 seconds. So that's in line with the other locations in the US, which is very good and means that all the you can see right here that all the media files are being served via the CDN, which makes it load faster since the CDN is closer to the location of the user accessing the website from Amsterdam. So that's it. Basically, that's the way you can set up a CDN on your WordPress website. And in this video, I remind you, I've used the Max CDN service. There are other good services, but my favorite is Max CDN, and it's used on some of my favorite websites, such as Bicel Ads, the next web, StumbleUpon, jQuery, and many others. If you've got WP Engine as your web host, most plans or some of the plans come with the CDN already included. So you can just ask your support technicians to set up the CDN for you, and you won't have to do any of the steps we, we've done today. Now, if you are going to set it up manually as we've done today, what I want you to do is go to solutions, click CMS, and then click on pricing options. So these are the pricing op options specific to WordPress. This is where you want to go. You can also access directly from maxcdn.com slash pricing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. And if you have any questions, please visit us at wpmayor.com and ask away. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.